Ladies and gentlemen, today, we embark on a journey into the fascinating world of cellular biology, exploring the intricacies of cell division through the lens of mitosis and meiosis. As we delve deeper into these fundamental processes, we aim to unravel the mysteries behind the letters M, is it for mitosis, or meiosis? Join me as we embark on this educational exploration. Before we proceed, let us ponder upon this question, M is it for mitosis, or meiosis? Throughout our presentation, we shall unravel the distinctions between these two crucial processes and understand their significance in cellular biology. Imagine peering through the lens of a microscope, observing the intricate dance of cells undergoing division. This visual journey allows us to witness the marvels of life unfolding at the microscopic level. Now, let us delve into the heart of our inquiry, what's the difference between mitosis and meiosis? To comprehend this, we must first understand the unique characteristics of each process. Behold the cells, the building blocks of life. Within their microscopic confines, lies the key to understanding the dynamic processes of mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis, a process essential for growth and cell repair, involves the replication and division of chromosomes to generate two genetically identical cells. Let us break down the stages of mitosis. 1. Duplication of nuclear DNA occurs. 2. Chromatin condenses, mitotic spindle assembles, and the nucleus disappears. 3. Chromosomes align in the middle of the cell. 4. Spindle fibers separate chromatids to opposite poles. 5. Two new sets of identical cells are formed, with the nucleus reforming around each. On the other hand, meiosis is the process responsible for producing gametes with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cells. Here's an overview of meiosis. Meiosis 1. 1. Tetrads form, exchanging segments of alleles. 2. Nucleus disappears, chromosomes align, and spindle fibers form. 3. Homologous chromosomes split and move to opposite poles. 4. Two non-identical cells are generated, each with a reformed nucleus. Meiosis 2. 1. Spindles reform around chromosomes. 2. Nucleus disappears, chromosomes align, and spindle fibers form. 3. Sister chromatids split and move to opposite poles. 4. Two non identical cells are generated from each divided cell with a reformed nucleus. Lastly, where do mitosis and meiosis occur in our body? Mitosis is prevalent in somatic cells throughout our body, responsible for growth and repair. Meanwhile, meiosis occurs in specialized germ cells, producing gametes for sexual reproduction. As we conclude our presentation, let us reflect on the profound significance of mitosis and meiosis in shaping life as we know it. May this newfound knowledge inspire further exploration and appreciation for the wonders of cellular biology. Thank you.